Ah! Oh, everybody, it's me, Carmine De Stefano, the Book Man. I am going to start today a new walkthrough. This one of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the CD Projekt Red game that just got released today. I want to start a complete walkthrough. I want to go through everything with you guys. Now, just so that you know, these are going to be very long videos. These are going to be at least an hour, ten minute videos each. This game is loaded. It's stacked. And I also got the the DLC extra, the, you know, the day that it came out because I pre-ordered it and blah, 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 blah. So this is going to be a big, long ass. And I've got a couple more games coming up. One coming up in particular that is going to be within three weeks. So I want to see if I can get through this as quick as possible. Now, as you can see, we got to this point. Now, I am playing through this game in another save file. So this one I'm going to play for you guys. So whatever I've done here, I've done already. But we're going to try to get through every side quest. We're going to try to get through everything that we can possibly get through. So let's take a look at it together. Shall we? Now, one of the reasons why I want to start this one early is, uh, let's see, seasoned, yeah, I don't want to go, this is, this is your, uh, your difficulty levels, easy, normal, whatever, I'll stick with norm normal, I've already died, okay, show tutorials, I'm going to do that off, okay, this is what I didn't do, but I'm going to do it now, I am going to simulate a Witcher 2 save, uh, yeah. As was the case with The Witcher 2, this one has a very dramatic opening cinematic. Now, I did my review of the game on my Bookman channel. So that touched up on what this game really is. Now we're going to go through the whole thing together. 
Well, as you've seen, that's Yennefer, not Triss. Usually it's Triss. In this one, it's Yennefer. Triss does come about, but not until later on. I really hope that this doesn't erase my other game, because that would really piss me off. If those of you that are new to The Witcher, there's a lot of nudity. You know I don't find that amusing. We're gonna see our first naked lady in the game. Bam! It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Being a witcher is not easy, as you can see. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. That's one nice piece to wake up to, isn't it? That's the thing with sorceresses. In this game, they're immaculate. They're like ridiculously gorgeous. I thought it was Triss, didn't you? Alright, well, uh, in this game you have sort of a choice of how you want to go about things. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. And you could tell here, this is Witcher senses like your spider sense my spider sense is tingling anyone call for a web slinger so you can come here and you can check these things out nothing but silver gold clashes with my complexion you should know that you can extinguish candles you can ignite candles i don't see why i would do either one but who are these yours Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. If those are yours, I'll just rip them to shreds and you have to walk around like that. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. So now we can take a choice as to take a pick of what we want to see. What we want to say to her. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you. But we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Even Triss? Okay. So we have to find a key. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have to find a key. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jesus Christ, I cannot clear my throat anymore. Extinguish the candles. So we have to find the key to the bedroom. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. I think you need to finger my butter chili. And look at that. Something is glowing. It is, after all, the key. Okay. And now we have 
the said key. I don't think there's anything really here that we can examine considering this is, after all, a dream. Whoops, did I give it away too quick? Alright, now we can open the door. Tis unlocked. One thing about these role-playing games that I still haven't figured out is... Opening doors. Why can't they have any opening door animations with all this new gen technology and what have you? Just have the arm gently push a door open. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Most of the people being referenced, you probably wouldn't know. You know, you definitely wouldn't know if you didn't play any of the games, but you probably wouldn't know unless you played the second one. Even if you played the first, you probably wouldn't know any of these names unless you played the second. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Siri, she was mentioned many times in the past. One of the few chicks Geralt doesn't fuck. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Yeah, I'll go with that again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? I uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial. Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? I don't know why they all have white hair, especially since she didn't go through the mutations. If you've never played a Witcher game, I played through The Witcher 2 on the Xbox 360. I live-streamed it on Twitch. And limp, sleeping body twitched. So I played through it on Twitch a while ago. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Blah. You don't want to jump off too high. A, a 
perch because if you do, you're going to lose health. So I played through it a while ago and... Another thing I have to say, because I mentioned it in the my review, the Witcher site is so much better in this than most games, like even in the Arkham games. It doesn't, in the, in the last game, it sort of changed the entire look of everything, so it looked like night vision or something. I like this better because it doesn't change the perspective. The perspective. Or the perception. Where it like alters the entire screen and it looks all warped. But I played through The Witcher 2. I watched through The Witcher 1. Which was only a PC game. Now that does pop up. I don't know why. That's a little bit of a bug right there. We're going to try to go through the bugs too. If you notice that little like... You know, I think it's her uh, her handkerchief. Or blindfold. Ooh. Can I open this? Fuck her. I jumped on your head. Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? When do I get to simulate Witcher 2 decisions? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. All right, battle tutorial. Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show you the tutorial. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. We're gonna go through this. It's not that long. And this game, it starts off pretty quick for an RPG. Usually RPGs take forever. Witcher 2 took forever. To, to get going. Well, not forever, but it took a while. Quick cuts. One, two, three. <laughs> One. Strong Strong strikes it now. Give it all you got. Yeah, so Witcher 2 took forever to get started. Oh, hey, oh, hold on a second. I wasn't ready yet. Do it again. Come on, Big Chief. And... Pretty much, like I said, pretty much every role-playing game takes a while to get started. You have to get deeply invested in the role of which you are playing. The only one that doesn't, or the only ones that don't, are the, the From Software games. From Software games, you get thrown right in the mix. It just takes about a second. But, I mean, Bloodborne, you had to fight enemies without a weapon, so, in the beginning... But what I like about this is you get a better idea of what the Witcher order was like. You get to see how they train. I mean, in the previous games, the main nemesis in the second game was a Witcher. To bring the day to a close, we'll go over. A uh, I gotta go to Kyun. There it is. Let's start with Siri. 
Quinn is sometimes called the Duke. And uh, Kuhn is a lot better than it was in the second one. Igni. Well, the spells are a lot better than they were in the second one. If not for the Quinn sign, I'd be So. Oops. Sorry. Erd. Erd. The second one, the main nemesis was a witcher. In the first one, the witchers were kind of like. I don't want to say battling each other, but they were kind of being assholes to one another. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erdin now. Jordan. But, um... See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. Throw a boom. Oh. You like that bomb? I didn't even get any bombs in the... Well, we'll get, we'll get to that. And this is pretty much the same as it was in the last game. They're, they're basic, straight-up controls. Not a big deal. So, and it's, it's sort of an action game. Whoa, you really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little bit of lag there. She devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. That. that didn't happen last time I played this. I swear. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. White Wolf. That's what they call him, the White Wolf, because of his hair, his eyes. That's what he's known as. For those of you that never played, I'm going to go into like all the lore and shit that we've learned from the previous. This is a, based off a series of books. So, there are a few things that we learned from the previous games that I'm going to have to keep you up to date on or get you up to speed on. When do I pick my... I know I said that. I know I... Right. <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. 
We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Eh, uh, tell him anyway. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Ghouls! Alright, now we get into the combat aspect right away. Ghouls are pretty easy. And I used a spell I wasn't even trying to use. Now with most of these monstrous type enemies, you're going to want to use your dodge. I like how Yes. Oh, there we go. Alright, I was going to say, I like how you're just standing there. Oh, fuck. Nah. Okay. Now, we're going to loot these bastards. Follow. That's now, they're going to just drop a whole bunch of ghoul shit. I mean, nothing major. Let me, I'm going to change my spell. Igni is my favorite. It's what I use all the time. Now, well, like I was telling you about the the Witcher instincts, Witcher senses, you can see what you can loot, what's lootable and what is not. As you can see, as you can see, the backgrounds are pretty realistic looking. So sometimes you might miss something or sometimes you might mistake a a bed of roses or whatever for something that you can let's put the sword away for something that you can actually pick from their blood for the sake of oh wait I'm missing something hold on hold on you know they eat the living you can pick for the sake of alchemy and whatever and we're gonna get into the alchemy it's not for those of you that played Witcher 2 and probably the first Witcher it's not like that where you have to actually meditate in order to now another aspect that's new to this game if you look to my lower left you see bread and you see water these are your consumables that you can switch first and second and all you need to do is hit the control pad it's not exactly going our way we have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. And when you hit the control pad, you can consume them and regain your vitality, which is that large red meter up on the top there. The smaller one that's got the spell logo or the spell symbol, that is your stamina, which if you have no stamina, you cannot cast spells. And spells are pretty important. Man, this thing's lagging like crazy. We going? Help me! Help! Help! I've lost me arse! Uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, is the first boss. The Griffin. Uh, 
<laughs> there aren't even any Grey Wardens around. You gotta move out of the way, man. Shit. That is one angry griffin. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. And here's our first merchant. Not yet, though. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. That's our first mission. Now before I do that, I want to check the area. Scope it out. You never know. Alright, never mind. Okay. Now the vitality is supposed to recover, but I don't see it doing that. So it hasn't moved. This close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain shore, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Right away, if you notice on the right, top right corner over there, the map. And I mentioned it in the, in the review. This map is fucking great. If you played the second Witcher, that map was so fucking confusing. This one's beautiful. Plowmo, plowmo. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. My arse. You never really run into very high members of society or very or members of high society usually with the druids what witches yeah you like your own sausage i'll not drink with weaver lost freaks i wouldn't mess with mutants that could live beg your pardon twice as long as me and no need we're used to it Recover from injuries faster and all that other shit. Could jump around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman Bram. Bram? Oh, is he? Alive. 
Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Ah, uh, you don't have to do that. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Okay. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. Next stop, Willoughby. Strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Now we can go shopping. Show me what you got behind the counter. So we all we have 250 arns. That's our gold, our cap our currency. Yeah, I'm passionate like currency, like I said. Now the only thing I'm gonna really buy here, like I did last time, I mean, you could buy empty bottles of vodka, bread, whatever. These are all consumables to help your vitality, but I'm just gonna buy these cards, see. We're gonna play a card game. We're gonna play it with one of the guys here. Now uh, this is your inventory, by the way. Now we have 60 slots, and we've only used seven, so we're doing all right. And in case you're wondering, it's not like Witcher 2, where... Thanks for everything. Where every time you pick anything up, it weighs you down. This one's a little different. You have a higher capacity. So although it's only 60 slots, <laughs> I plan to do some slots myself, it, it feels like more. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Yes, yeah, so I like the pace of this game. This game moves a lot faster than the other one. Let him measure. Than the other two, I should say. The other two were good, but you had to really get moving. Like most role-playing games, this one sort of just gets right into it. I'm looking for someone. Now we're going to use our Witcher mind trick. Some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Like, why mess with him? I don't understand. Just shut up. Now, as you can see, that icon states that this woman is a vendor, but we're not going to go hanging with that yet. We got a couple more people to talk to, like these people. Suits, similar to club. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Well, this person, you know, the other two are left. Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. 
Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Now I could tell him to go on about it, but... Nah. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Okay, next. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. That's what they all say. All right, time to play a card game. Ready? <clears throat> so long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. Now, it's real. It's so easy. It's it's very easy to play this game. All you got to do is look at these points. These hit points or strength points and utilize them to your advantage. No. You can only bring with you 10 cards. So, let's see. Okay, let's It's good. Still not enough. Unit. Anyone want to see my unit? Uh, all right, let's Now then. By the way, look familiar? If you played Witcher 2, she would. And that looks kind of like Triss, doesn't it? Oh, that's what's her name? Yeah, that's it. Vess, that's her name, right? Now, if you want, you can use one of these weather cards to diminish the amount of points that your opponent has overall. But really what this card game is, it's kind of like card chess, sort of. Because it's about war. That's about... That's pretty much the only connection it has. Uh, let's get our siege weapon out here. Now basically what you want to do is you want to get the most points, but you want to make sure you don't piss away all your cards. Because you're going to need both these... these sets of cards. So you don't want to use them all up. Now what that thing does, it also buffs my... my crew with plus one in terms of strength. So let's get this dude in there. Now just be careful because they might keep trying to piss cards away on you and you don't want to lose all your cards. 
So, like right now, I'm kind of getting low here. I didn't need one ranged. I think I'll be done. I'm gonna save him for the next round. Twenty points should be good, or maybe not. Now yep, he tied with me, and now he took the lead. All right, so he won that first round. I have to beat him two times. But I'm not sure what cards he's bringing to these. Ne Clear weather? Does that really do anything? Probably not. Come on, Vest, win me around here. Now that, yeah, that's gonna hurt. But that's okay because I could pull one on him too. Aha, uh -huh. looks like I won. I won with, what is that, one point? Because he has no cards left. That's why you kind of want to back out when you get a chance. All right. Let's put this siege weapon out there. The trebuchet. You can't fuck with my trebuchet. Uh, let's see. I put this guy in here, and if he really doesn't... All right, I'm done. Look at that. Didn't even have to put any effort into that one. All right. See what happens when you try to overshoot your first round? That's yeah, stupid. Well, you have a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our first side quest. Beating the dude with the cards. I want to pet this cat, but it keeps running away from me. We're not done talking to these individuals. There's one more over here. But let's turn out some lights. Whew. I don't know why I did that. Now, this guy's a little bit more in the know. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Witchers can get drunk. Bengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. All right. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim. At your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Uh, I don't think it really matters other than he's going to find out, but I'll say it. Is it? It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared... 
It never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilfgaardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Who is Master Dandelion, you might be asking? Master Dandelion is a friend of Geralt of Rivia since the first one. He's a bard. And he sings tales and songs and whatever about Geralt amongst many other things. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> don't want your kind here. We don't serve their kind here. Well, let's use some Witcher mind tricks again. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course not. No, you, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Oh, by the way, the word horse on is one that they like. Alright, fist fights. Fist fights are pretty easy. See? Real easy. And the horses are getting upside. See, you pissed off the horses. Little assholes. Alright, you got anything I can loot? Anything at all? Nothing. You guys are useless. Let's see what we got in here. Old goat hide. Nothing like old goat hide. Alright. I'm going to try to stop saying all right. Let's hop over the fence here and let's check out these barrels. All this stuff, these are all alchemic or weapon crafting items. And I'm picking them off, man. I'm picking them off like a common thief. Now, we do have a side quest, but let's go here and let's take a look. Quests. Our main quest is about the Nilfgaardians and Yennefer. Secondary quest is about the cards. And I really don't care about that right now. And the complete quests are what the complete quests are. Here we have our character build up. We haven't gotten past level 1 yet. So this does not mean anything to us at this particular moment. We can also meditate. But as you can see meditation now simply passes time and nothing else. That will be a key factor later on in the game. Bestiary is our glossary. This is where we look up all different aspects of creatures or humans or whatever that we've come across. And this also tells you what valuable, what works against them. Vulnerable against. See, vulnerable against. This is necrophage oil, the griffin, grape shot, hybrid oil, and ard. So we should probably think about using that in our fight. Tutorial is what it says. Characters, these are people we've come across. See, there's Master Dandelion, the bard himself. Syria, Cedrilia. I, oh, that's one of the witchers. Geralt of Rivia. Lambert, another one of the witchers. Yez, Vesimer, and Yennefer. I can look at that all day. Anyway, all right. And this, of course, is our crafting area. We can craft weapons, items, whatever we need to craft. Alchemic resources, bits and pieces, and whatever. Alchemy, speaking of, as you can see, we don't have anything that can create the potions that are necessary for us. And then we go back to our inventory. Which we'll get into as I pick up more items. So, right now, I'm going to save. Oh, good, it didn't override it. Nice! It does save really fast, too. Chickens. Can't do anything with the chickens. Well, now that we are free to roam, let's roam in people's homes. When you see that logo pop up, it's, it'll show, tell you what spell you could cast. 
These guys, they don't stop for a deeply intense, into it conversation. And now we can pick herbs and what have you. So that we can create alchemic formulas. But pretty much in here, you can go about picking off people's shit, looting their crap. Wouldn't be an RPG unless you can simply walk into people's homes and loot their crap. And this, this game is unlike most games. And I picked off their money. I mean, there is just so much shit sitting around. Food, water, all of which help you regain your vitality. Vitality. You can talk to people while they're sleeping. There's nobody here, though. I can turn on their candles. I can light their candles. Ooh, we got smoking pipe. We got a bunch of good shit. We got some water, which is good because we're going to need that. We're going to need a lot of it. Oh yeah, and if you go back here, you'll note a gentleman that we will be speaking to later on. As you can see, his arm appears to be bandaged. Remember that? Remember that. Because we're going to get into him later. Much later. Side quests, side quests. How do we get side quests, Bookman? How exactly do we get side quests? Well, it's real simple. I want to find herbs, though. There's specific herbs that I have to pick. I'm just going to hop your fence. Bust into your house like there's no tomorrow. Damn it. One thing this, this game does have a hard time with, it's narrow corners. Plow mo, plow mo. I'm going to try not to sing that as often as possible. That came from Witcher 2. Sometimes you'd be walking around the first town that you got to. And Witcher 2 is pretty short, all things considered. But when you're walking through town, you would hear somebody in the back consistently going, Plow mo, plow mo. So I sing that when I play Witcher games. Don't you have any books I can read? Did I already pick this place? No, I didn't. It's a place I have not been. The shower. So anyway, how do we get side quests? Well, if you notice on the map. Out of here, you little kid. This is our message board. And on the message board, you don't just get messages from random numb nuts. You get side quests. Okay. So now what we can do is we can go back to our little sub menus and go to quests and we can go one at a time we have secondary quests missing in action collect them all which we don't care about which are contracts it'll tell you what suggested level you should be on for these side quests now that's one way of getting side quests another way is just talking to people and oh like you see right there there's a, an exclamation point over somebody's head let's go speak to that person and see what they need Hello, Sha. Fuck am I to do? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I will find him. Find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But well, then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. 
In this game, like most other games, dwarves are foul mouth hooligans with Scottish accents. Now he, you can deal with him. He is a smith, obviously. If you were to take this quest on, uh, yeah, lilac and gooseberries. If you were to take this quest on, you would be sniffing around here and searching the the area for the guy who, by the way, was the guy with the bandage. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to need more experience before we get to that one. That one's a little difficult. Okay, that herb is very, very important. For a mission we're going to take on soon. Did you burn the house down, you little bastard? Yeah, try to find as many of these as you can. Selendine. Very important. See, one here. Pick it off. There's another flower that looks just like it. It's called like Blowball or something. And it pisses me off. Because every time I try to find that Celadine, I always find that instead. And it's like, no, man! I want the fucking Celadine, not the Blowballs! This is... Okay, so we're do Now watch. I'm Once you find it, you'll find like a million of it. I got a million of them. Let's go in here. Hmm. Okay, we can't go in there. Very well then. This. Okay, we have enough for that. I believe. We have Belize. But like I said, in Witcher 2, this shit would be weighing you down. In this game, not really. This game, it doesn't really put much put much weight on you, which is good, because you're going to need that that extra cargo area for weapons and shit. And we are going to get some weapons. We're going to get a lot of weapons. I'm just wandering off, aren't I? Now, let's get back to the main road here. Now, you can call for your horse real simple. Hit down on the left stick. <laughs> stick. Okay. Maybe he ain't going to come out this far or something. All right, now we have we have to go to the Nilf Guardians. The Nilf Guardians will or yeah, Nilf Guardians, I was right. They will help us, but we got to do a specific thing for them first. And that specific thing involves the Griffin. So remember there was no Griffin contract or contract on the Griffin? Well, there soon will be. Let's pick that white myrtle. Most of these herbs have been in all the games, all the Twitcher games. Anybody in here? Can I go inside? Hello? Locked. Open the door. Ugh. I want to go in your house. I want to pick off your shit. Now how can I steal your crap if you won't open the door for me? Now, in this game, you can also swim, which is really good. You can swim deep, deep in the water. Let them come to the water. These are the... Is this the... Yeah. Blow ball, whatever? Hate these things, because they look just like the Celadine. And they're not. And when they're not, it drives me nuts. Right, let's get to the Nilf Garden camp. And maybe I'll call it a video. Ooh. Let's bust in here. With hostility. Brah! You didn't leave me anything to rob, man. Abandoned shack. Suck it, Trebek. Ooh. Exclamation point! Yeah, this one's pretty funny. This little old lady. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty. This hurt, that is. Till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. 
walked right in like to his own. Standing at my window, peering at the goings on. He must have made me. Because next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Now he seems he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Yeah, she gets right up in your grill about that, doesn't she? Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a feared to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thanks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here. Never had a pan contract. So, this door doesn't just open. What you have to do now, just for fun, well, I'm going to save. But just for fun, let's put this baby on. This one I'm going to wait for. And that one I'm going to wait for. But this one we're going to do right now. Okay, so, this door doesn't open, right? What we have to do is we have to get our ARD and push it. It's like force push. Okay, let's loot as much as we possibly can. Because this place is stacked with good shit. Audens. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's take a look. I think I got a better sword. This sword is 29 to 35. The one I have is... Yeah, this one's better. But this one's crap. So that one's better. That's a good sword. We're gonna hold on to that for a while. The best was in Witcher 2, I, I crafted a sword that was simply ridiculous. It's the stench. So now when you see this red, as you've noticed, this is something you have to examine. It'll give you some clues, some hints. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What? Cracked monocle. Interesting. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. This woman's very enthusiastic about her little pan, so we should find it for her. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Otherwise she might get all upset. Now, look at that. The pan! Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Now that we have the pan, this is the hardest part of the game, looting this. Okay, we got some honeycomb and some rye and we got a bunch of food now. So we should be able to take on pretty much any challenge in this arena. But we got the frying pan, which is what's most important right now. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. 
Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Milf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Thanks, Grandma. Now that that is taken care of, it will automatically go back to the main quest as the noteworthy quest. We only got a few orange and 10 experience points, nothing major. But we did get five baked apples. Oh, hello, doggy. Back the fuck off. Get my Igni back. So, if you notice that that sword is doing its work. All right, all right. Let's stop. Wow, they just fucking ho ho. These wolves just killed like three people. Gotta kill like fifty people. Burn ya! You can't see it, but I'm letting you know that the light. For those of you that don't have a PS3, no, 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 no. don't start with you can't finish, pal. Damn you. No, you die. For those that, since you can't see, my PS4 control... Oh, shit. Is that just a regular dog? Whose dog is that? Since you can't see, as I was saying, the PS4 controller has this light on the top by where you where you would plug it in to recharge it. You know where its USB port is. And this light usually is blue. Yeah, I think uh, it was it was Destiny. No, that's not that I think. It, it's what I know. The game Destiny used to... Yeah. Used to light... There we go. Used to light up depending on your life me meter, your health meter. But aside from that, it's usually blue. So if your health meter in Destiny was low, it would be yellow. And then if it was dangerously low, it, it would go red. So the whole room would light up red or whatever. Well, this game, it just constantly changes. Right now it's green. When I'm fighting, it's red. It's crazy. Oh yeah, that's honeycomb. Not the cereal. I like this dude just hanging like... Ah. Now he'll be there for like the rest of the game, I think. Okay, let's go to the Nilf Guardians. As I was, Can I get my horse back now? There we are. Okay. So you have to hit it twice, and then we get our horse named Roach. Should make a movie or a book. A horse named Roach. It's like a boy named Sue. We follow the road. Be careful. You don't want to run anybody over. And we're going to head to this garrison. I would hate to have to leave a garrison here. Soldiers. When nobody's in your way, just gallop hard. <laughs> hard. Now, this area is covered in poison fog. It's nasty, very nasty place. So, you don't want to hang here too long. Run, Roach. But this is where the Nilfgaardians are. And we're going to talk to him to get our contract. We're going to talk to a specific person. All right, now we have to get off the horse. So, let's get to this door and... Hi, how you doing? Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. 
I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Oh, you like it on sausage? Aguilevi is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Oh, nice. Very, very friendly. Now, in this area, you'll note that there are places you can pick off... Estrada. ...string crafting items. I wonder, do I have enough? Let's take a look. Uh, let's go to my alchemy. Do I have enough for... Anything? No, I don't. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, drowner brains! I gotta kill some drowners! Not a problem, because one of these missions will... Require me to kill drowners. I wish I could find something that I needed. Blue balls, whatever that shit's called. Hey, back off! Come on, come closer. Wow, like the whole holy shit! All right, you know what? Don't touch that treasure chest. What? How much? Holy fuck. You guys robbed me blind. Password. Dunno any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? All right, let's go into the smiths. All right, I, I want to sell this, so you could take that. Nothing here I can sell you. There's stuff here, but it doesn't matter. All right, now wait a minute. Um, yeah, let me get back here. Okay, so, smiths. They sell you these things so that you can repair your weapons and whatever. They don't last long. They also sell weapons that you can use. This is one, I think, is this a silver sword? Yeah, that's a silver sword. Look at that sword, man. Oh, God, I want that. I want that bad. Okay, so we can craft certain items to help improve our weapons, but as you can see, I don't have the materials. Of all the picking off I've been doing, I can't find the materials for this. But you can also repair our equipment, which is good because we need it, as you can see. So let's just repair all. And now I have six orins. That's beautiful. Okay, anyway. All right. So I am going to stop it here, and then we're going to talk to the guy in charge. So I will be back in one second. Don't go anywhere.